it's the world's largest ancient functioning temple if i put it as non functioning it will go to parama vishnu loka called angkor wat in siam reap cambodia this is a he looks handsome even while he is asleep sita but in the forest there will be wild animals ராமானுஜதயாபாத்திரம்ஞானவைராகியூஷணம் ஸ்ரீமத்வேங்கடநாதாரியம் வந்தே வேதாந்ததேஷிகம் லக்ஷ்மீநாதசமாரம்பாம் நாதையா முனமத்தியமாம் அஸ்மதாச்சாரியபரியந்தாம் வந்தே குருபரம்பராம் யோனித்தியமச்சுதபதாம்புஜயுக்மருக்மவியாமோஹதஸ்ததிதராணி திருணாயமேனே அஸ்மதுருர்பவோசியோராமானுஜசரணோரணம் பிரபத்தியே மாதா பிதா யுவத்தையஸ்தனையா விபூதிஸ்வம்யமேனமதன்வயாம் ஆதியசியனுலபேர்வகுளாபிராமம் ஸ்ரீமத்ததங்கிரியுகம் பிரணமாமி மூர்தனா பூதம் சரச்சமாஹ்வயபட்டநாத்தீபக்திசாரகுலசேகரயோகிவாஹான் பக்தாங்கிரேணுபரகாலயதீந்திரமிஸ்ரான் ஸ்ரீமத் பராங்குஷமுனி பிரணத்தோஸ்மி நித்தியம் கூஜந்தம் ராமராமேதி மதுரம் மதுராட்சரம் ஆருஹிய கவிதாஷாம் வந்தே வால்மீகி கோகிலம் வால்மீகேர்முனி சிம்ஹசிய கவிதவனச்சரிண ஷன் ராமகம் கோனயாதி பராம் கதி வேதவேதே பரே புசி ஜாத்தே தசரத்மஜே வேத பிராஜேதாசீத் சாட்சாத்மா அஞ்சனானந்தனம் வீரம் ஜானகீஷோகநாசனம் கபீஷமக்ஷஹந்தாரம் வந்தே லங்கா பயங்கரம் மனோஜவம் மாருதுல்யவேகம் ஜிதேந்திரியம் புத்திமதாம் வரிஷ்டம் வாத்தாத்மஜம் வானரயூதமுக்கியம் ஸ்ரீராம தூதம் ஷிரசா நமாமி ஆஞ்சனேயமதிபாடலானனம் காஞ்சனாதிரிகமனீய விக்கிரகம் பாரிஜாதூலவாசினம் பாவையாமி பவமானனந்தனம் எத்திரகுநாதகீர்த்தனம் திருமஸ்தாஞ்சலிம் பாஷ்பவாரி பரிபூர்ணலோச்சனம் மாருதி நமதராட்சசாந்தகம் நமஸ்ததே Today we have gathered to experience the Mudichavna Panidamba. The elixir, the ambrosia of Sri Rama and Sri Rama Janma Bhoomi. The latter word of this topic which is Rama Janma Bhoomi is quite known to us in the last few months. which we have witnessed either in person or through screens about the event the samskara the great ritual that took place in ayodhya ram janma bhoomi is there to stay ram janma bhoomi is there for us to take darshan of whenever we go to ayodhya to bharat desham but the first half of the topic though short ram janma bhoomi long word whereas rama is a short word but this short word is what which is an enigma which is a repository of all auspicious attributes in itself that said what does the word rama mean was this name given only to rama whom we know of or was this existent as per our information that we have gathered from our itihasas and the puranas we have three very famous ramas one is j rama second is d rama third is v rama 
जे रामा इज जमदग्नि सन रामा परशुरामा डी रामा इज दशरथा सन दशरथ रामा थर्ड इज वसुदेवा सन कृष्णास एल्डर ब्रदर हु वॉज बल रामा सो वी हैव थ्री रामास इन चेन्नई वी हैव फोर्थ इन राम सो जे राम डी राम वी राम एन राम बट अवर फॉर द चेतनो जीवनम for the ujjivanam of our jeevatma we don't have to know the fourth one first three are enough which is j ram d ram and v ram so even before the times of rama jamadagni son last son was called parashurama since he came in the lineage of bhrugu he was called bhargava rama he came in the lineage of bhrugu so he was called bhargava rama since he held the ayudham called parashu the axe he was called parashu rama since he was the son of jamadagni he was jamadagni san rama or jamadagneya this is how we refer to so in sanskritam we have this concept of naming a person in reference to their own father and mother daksha's daughter is dakshayani Drupada's daughter is Draupadi. Janaka's daughter is Janaki. Ravana's son is You have to give it based on this Ravani. So Indrajit is referred to as Ravani. Ashwatthama is referred to as Droni. द्रौण्य विप्लुष्टमद मदंगम सतान बीज कुर पांडवा जुगोपकुक्षि गति अतचक्र मातुश्च मे यशरण गतायाद्भागवत महापुराण वेन परीक्षित आस्क ओ शुकब्रह्म ई वुड लव टू नो अबउट द पर्सन who protected me while i was a fetus in the amnionic sack of my mother uttara and when the astram of brahma shiras was shot by drona san ashwatthama that position he says draunyastra viplushta idam madangam so drauni drona san ravani ravana san draupadi drupada's daughter janaki ja janaka's daughter dakshayani daksha's daughter आंजनेय अंजना सन वासुदेव वसुदेव से पुमान वासुदेव सन ऑफ वसुदेव सो रामा वॉज हिमसेल्फ कॉल्ड दाशरथी सन ऑफ दशरथ सन ऑफ जमदग्नि इज जस्ट नो आई से टू एंड हाफ मिनिट्स बैक जामदग्नि यू शुड रिमेंबर इट्स नॉट अ मोनोलॉग फ्रेंड्स रोमन्स एंड कंट्री मैन आई कम टू बेरी सीजन नॉट टू प्रेज एम एम नो मार्क एंटनी सो इन सनातन धर्म the concept is you uh, you question and you get the answer and you should also give the right for the other person to question you see if arjuna had not questioned and krishna had not answered you wouldn't have bhagavad gita if yudhishthira had not questioned and bhishma had not replied you wouldn't have vishnu sahasranama if valmiki hadn't questioned and narada hadn't answered you wouldn't have the compendium called ramayana if Vaish Jaman janamejaya hadn't asked questions and vaishampayana had not answered we wouldn't have had Ra mahabharatam without the questions of maitreya and the answers of parashara no vishnu puranam without the questions of parikshit and without the answers of shuka brahmam there is no bhagavatam every scripture that we revere respect and propitiate in dharma is a compendium of questions and answers so sanatana dharma as a civilization as a religion has said you are allowed to question there is no death threat if you ask questions that much you can be rest assured you can ask questions and you can get answered but krishna says tadviddhi pranipatena pariprashnena sevaya उपदेक्ष्यंति ते ज्ञान ज्ञानी तत्वदर्शि अर्जुन यू आर् क्वेश्चनिंग मी ऐ एम आंसरिंग ऐ एम युअर कजन यू आर् आलो मै हाउस सन इन लॉ ई होप यू नो द रिलेशनशिप कृष्णा फादर वॉज द एलर ब्रदर टू अर्जुन मदर कुंती वसुदेव एंड पृथा दे वेर ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स सो एसेंशियली कृष्णा एंड अर्जुन वेर कजन फस्ट कसन at the same time krishna's younger sister subhadra was married to arjuna thereby making him a son in law as well cousin comes son in law 
So he says, you are taking all these relationship based rights and you are questioning me. I am duty bound to answer. Well, you have the right to question and I have the choice to answer. But Arjuna, there is a paddhati, there is a tradition. Always perform service to your guru. After having performed service to your guru, your guru will be super impressed with your humility. He will then tell you, ask questions. Then if you ask questions, the answer that comes will stay in your mind. So questioning is not a, an activity in silos. It is subset to the super set called as Dharma Seva. You do service. You ask questions, you get answer. Your questioning should not be in a way that you are exercising Article 16 and 19 of, maybe I am talking about Indian constitution. I have the right to question. Then that jnanam will not stay. See, many of us wonder. When I listen to a lecture or read a book, I remember. After I finish, I don't remember why. Avanavan tan acharyan pakkalile vaitirukkum abhimanataratam yattal says Vedanta Deshika. The quantum of your memory of knowledge is directly proportional to the amount of respect you have towards your guru. Lower the respect, lower the memory. Higher the respect, higher the memory. You can choose what to do. Now, tadviddhiv pranipatena pariprashnena sevaya. Ask questions. So, dharma en encourages questioning and thereby jamadagneya means the son of jamadagni. That said, so, Jamadagni, Jamadagneya, Parashurama had the name Rama. But today when I say the name, word Rama, you will not remember Parashurama or Balarama. The only person who comes to your mind is Ramachandra, the son of Dasharatha. Why was this name given? There are various connotations to the word Rama. Ramayatiti Ramaha. See, when you say the word itself, it seems you can sense the taste of jaggery with palm sugar and normal sugar in your tongue. So the moment you say you feel the name, it gives you that sweetness. Ramayati. So his name is very good to say. How is he to look at? Very handsome. So Ramayati the Ramaha, just now his name, even his position, the posture, the characteristics, the rupam of the Lord is extremely beautiful. Kalyananam Nidhanam Kalimathamathanam Pavanam Pavananam says a great poet in Ramakaranamrita Shloka. So Rama is very handsome to look at. He is very beautiful. His name is very beautiful. How do we know that? See, Rama at the age, I told you yesterday, around uh, 815, I was talking about the age of Rama yesterday. You remember the other venue in the Indian Commission? I was telling... Well, he was married to Sita who was 6 years of age. Rama was just le running 11 years of age. So, Rama was born in the nakshatram called Punarvasu. In the month of Chaitra. Chaitre Navami Keti Thau. Nakshatre Aditi Daivatye Swachasam Stheshu Panchasu. Five Grahas were in the exalted state when Rama was born. So, five Grahas. Panchauche Lokanayakaha. There is a rule in Jyotisha Shastram. If five Grahas are in the exalted state in a Jatakam, then the person will be a world leader. Panchauche Lokanayakaha. Panchauche Uchasthanam. You will become a Lokanayaka. So, Rama was born in Chaitra Punarvasu and while he was running leaven is when he was taken to the forest. I also spoke about Vishwamitra telling, give me that son of yours who has Kakapaksham. You remember yesterday? Jonena, Ilya, Kakapaksha, Dharam, Viram, curly hair locks, I told, right. So, Kakapaksha, Dharam, Viram, Jeshtham, Me, Datu, Marhasi. So, Rama went along with Vishwamitra to the forest. Vishwamitra, now they all had to sleep on the floor. There was no comfortable sleep well mattress there. You have to sleep on the floor that was filled with thorns and stones. So Rama and Lakshmana slept. Vishwamitra too slept. The next morning, the following morning, Vishwamitra got up. He got up at about 3.45, 4 in the morning. He couldn't sleep later. You know, some people have this disorder. They can't sleep that regularly. They will sleep in installments in the night. The only worry that they will have is when they look at people who are sleeping well. So, many of them ask, Sir, what should I do to get such undisturbed sleep? Sleep with no intervals, no sabbaticals or breaks. You have to listen to lectures. You listen to Ramayanam, you will normally, automatically get very good sleep. Side effectless, 
restill tablet it is so they all slept now vishwamitra got up at 345 he went closer to rama how was rama to look at see that is where valmiki excels in his presentation as a composer and a compiler he says rama was extremely handsome and was a sign of prosperity even while he was asleep sukha suptav parantapa shriman shrimatvam to be an epitome of prosperity was visible while he was asleep see today you go to a small town very closer to another famous town called tiruchirappalli or trichy in tamil nadu that hamlet is called as shrirangam it is a small island formed in the fresh waters of kaveri it's the world's largest ancient functioning temple if i put it as non functioning it will go to parama vishnu loka called angkor wat in siam reap cambodia this is a functioning temple sapta prakara madhye sarasija mukulod bhasamane vimane kaveri madhya deshe mrudu tara pani rad bhoga paryanka bhage nidra mudra virama katini gata shirav parshva vinyasta hastam padma dhatri karabhyam parichita charanam rangarajam bhajeham says the great poet how the lord reclines so you go stand there morning 5 o'clock you have to stand in the line for 1 hour buy a ticket in indian currency for 500 rupees you go interview the person who are standing in the queue sir why are you standing to have a darshan of ranganatha what is he doing sleeping so to actually see somebody sleep you are buying a ticket and you are standing in the queue why because he is very handsome while he is at sleep you have to pay someone to see you asleep the other way around. see if you take this exercise for the you take this as home assignment when you are sleeping fast asleep ask someone to take photos you will immediately delete those photos <laughs> immediately trash you can never retrieve them why because when we are fast asleep we we are not concerned how we look like now i am all i have to check if this is down this is there everything i have to you know Uh, position myself and carry myself in such a way that i don't look off the radar now i have to sit before you like that but when i'm asleep i'm not bothered my mouth will be wide open like a crocodile you will see the drool that has poured all the way from my lips and now got dried up then the eyes the drops which will come from the eyes would have got dried up the hair will look you know i don't know if you have witnessed seven up advertisement in india <laughs> it will all be in a horripilated state above and my legs will be spread wide i won't be bothered about what posture i am in but when he reclines sukha supta parantapa shriman he looks handsome even while he is asleep so now vishwamitra goes to this reclining rama and has to wake him up so it is called suprabhatam prabhatam suprabhatam may your morning be good so he has to wake him up so what he should say rama wake up but he is a poet poets they have to generally glamorize the entire situation so he says kausalya who is sleeping rama if you say kausalya kausalya is in her inner apartment 50 miles away kausalya then he wanted to wake the son of kausalya up kausalya supraja supraja good son of kausalya so he was not the son of kausalya he was the good son see you ask any parent honestly do you have children yes are they good they will think <laughs> i have children but i am not sure if they are good children kausalya supraja many of you will be aware of classical music bharatiya sangeetam we generally are of two types largely of two types one profoundly found in the north it is called hindustani sangeetam the one which is south of vindhyas is referred to as shastriya sangeetam or karnataka sangeetam karnata doesn't have anything to do with karnataka please don't have this karneshu atati iti karnata that music which is very pleasing to the ears of mahalakshmi is called karnata kannada avaru irutare illi ತಪ್ತಿಳ್ಕೋಬೇಡಿ ಅದು ಕರ್ನಾಟ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ಕನ್ನಡ ಭಾಷೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕರ್ನಾಟ ಡಸನ್ ಮೀನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸಿದ್ದರಾಮಯ್ಯ ವಿಲ್ ಪುಟ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ 
it has nothing to do with karnat karneshu atati for the years it is very nice so it is called karnata sangeetam then you add one suffix karnata ka sangeetam that's all so in karnata sangeetam shastriya sangeetam there is one process i'm sure there will be connoisseurs of uh, art and music here in shastriya sangeetam we have one portion called niraval niraval means you take one part of the song and you sing that again and again and again and develop that based on the ragam kausalya supraja kausalya supraja kausalya supraja praja supraja kausalya this is called niraval so here vishwamitra was singing this kausalya supraja for half an hour same words kausalya praja kausalya supraja kausalya praja praja why why did vishwamitra keep repeating the words again and again because he did not want to tell the next word in that verse what is the next word rama why why sir what is wrong with that name why couldn't he tell that name because that name was given to this boy by vasishtha his rival <laughs> you are getting my point vasishtha and vishwamitra were at logger heads how will i end up using that name coined by vasishtha kulaguru so he kept on repeating kausalya praja kausalya supraja kau indher karavar finally he submitted himself and said kausalya supraja rama why he said i have never ever failed against this vasishtha but if there is one occasion where i have failed it is rama because there is no more no name which is more beautiful than rama how can i not utter the word rama ramananu brovara ramananu brovara tyagaraja says broche vare varura ninnu vinna raghuvarani sharanam bujamulane ni charanam bujamulane so he said rama so rama namam is so powerful and so beautiful that it will even make vishwamitra say that name that is the greatness of rama now the topic says rama the name is very beautiful even our names are beautiful but will anybody give 2 hours of lecture on our names but why will i de dedicate 2 hours because of his gunam roopa udarya gunaihi pumsam drishti chitta apaharinam there are close to 16 gunas which valmiki asks narada he says narada maharishi please tell me in the present world sampratam loke is there someone who is the fulcrum of all the 16 auspicious attributes konvasmin sampratam loke gunavan kascha viryavan dharmagnyascha kritagnyascha satyavakyo dridhavratah charitrena cha koyuktah sarvabhuteshu kohitah vidwan kakka samarthas cha kascheika priyadarshanah atmavan ko jitakrodah dyutiman ko anasuyakah kasya bibhyati devascha jataroshasya sanyuge these are the 16 qualities who is that one who has got all the 16 qualities in him kon bas means sampratam what is the word for quality i thought this was a question gunam correct so he tells who is that one who has got 16 gunams qualities what is the first gunam in that 16 gunavan what is the first gunam gunam what is this sir uh, you will you write heading provisions number 1 provision <laughs> then that person will go to the shop number 1 provision i have come to the provision shop what is number 1 provision list of 16 gunams what is the first gunam gunam so there is something hidden here this is where english translations miserably fail what we have bequeathed from renna acharya and martin acharya fails here 
See what it will say. What will general translation say? Valmiki, the one who was adept in tapasya, asked Narad, Kama, the Rishi who uttered the name of Narayan. He said, O Rishi, Kama, tell me the one who has got 16 auspicious qualities. The first quality being quality, it will say. Now our son or daughter, they don't know Sanskritam. Valmiki didn't know English. So we have to depend on the translation. So when the son reads it, Ye kya hai, papa? First quality, he says quality, kya hai? Kuch typo hua hoga. Father, father's reply. Now the boy will leave the Ramayana there and go. This is where the commentator says, what is Gunavan? Saushilyam ityarthaha. That is a unique quality of Rama called Saushilyam. Mahato mahandaihi nirandrena svabhavaha. That quality of water which is found in human beings is called saushilyam. Remember this. Mahato mandaihi. When water flows, let's say from level 1 to level 2, level 1 should be a higher level, level 2 should be a lower level because basic science, water flows from higher level to lower level. When it is flowing from upper level to lower level, the water will not say... <laughs> I was actually at the upper level. I don't know why I should go to the down level. Why should I stoop so low? Water will never say. Because its natural tendency is to always flow towards the downtrodden places. Similarly, Rama did not expect the forest dwelling Guha to come to his palace. He did not expect Sugriva, the forest dwelling Vanara to come to his palace. He did not expect Vibhishana, the Rakshasa of Lanka to come to his palace. He went to their places like how water goes from upper level to lower level to bless them. Se hence he is called Saushilya Sagara. So while Valmiki asks, tell me that one person who has got 16 auspicious attributes, he lists. The third quality is very interesting. He says, tell me that one who is grateful. Kritagnyaha. What is the word in Sanskritam for grateful, gratitude, kritagnya? What is the word for ungrateful? Very good. Kritagna. See the small difference. Kritagna is grateful. Kritagna is ungrateful. So the question is, tell me that one person who is Kritagna, grateful. So beautifully Valmiki has depicted in one place which can actually escape our eyes very easily. I'll tell you that place, listen to it carefully. When Rama left Ayodhya, he told Sita, Sita, I am leaving Ayodhya. I have been ordained to live in the forests of Dandaka for 14 years. The world is small. I am sure you will miss me and I will miss you too. Let's stay in touch. <laughs> Keep your mobile data on. <laughs> and moi. And here to leave. Sita said, where are you leaving me? In Ayodhya, Sita. You are the daughter of Janaka Maharaja, Siradhvaja. You have been living in comforts right since your birth. And after our marriage and after a tenure of 12 years in Ayodhya, you have been living in comforts. I don't think you will have to bear the brunt of staying in the virulent forests of Dandaka. You stay back in Ayodhya. She said, where are you leaving me? Ayodhya, to your mother's. See, Sita did not have one mother-in-law, she had mothers-in-law and all of them are suffering from good health. So, all of them were living. So, uh, she said, Tum mujhe idhar ke ja rahe ho. It is better I stay with you, I can manage you more than these people. Sita, but in the forest there will be wild animals. Then why are you holding your bow and arrow? Have you just kept them like a scarecrow? A scarecrow will never fight. So you, you do, don't you have the ability to fight? You just hold your bow and quiver of arrows just showcasing that you are a Kshatriya with a Kshatra Gunam not having the ability to protect me? Sita, you have to live on tubers and fruits in the forest. Rama, for long I have been wanting to change my diet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, brown rice there, nothing like it. I'll go on a keto too. 
Rama said, Sita, I, I don't know how to explain this to you, Sita. He went on. So this is one entire sargam in Ayodhya Kandam. Sita will say, Rama will reply. So after all of this, after an altercation like this, finally Rama says, okay, Sita, you come. There was a dialogue in between. That is not relevant to our story. I am not telling you that now. The moment the husband and the wife decide to go to the forest as a dampati and they exit their room, Rama notices that his feet cannot be moved any further because somebody has held them very tight. He looks down, he spots Lakshmana. Lakshmana says, Sabratus Charanau Gadam, Nipidya Raghunandanaha, Sita Muvachati Shayam, Raghavam Chamahavratam, Aham Sarvam Karishyami, Jagrataha Swapatas Chate. I shall perform all kinds of kankaryams for you, all types of services to you, both you and my mother, like sister in law Sita, for 14 years. Take me along. Sita said, Don't leave this man. Is ko mach chodke ao. Bol raha ki sabhi karega to karne do. I will sweep, I will mop, I will cook, I will wash, I will do everything. Ajao beta. She said, come. Like how Adi Shesha, the serpent couch to the Lord, is his bed. When it takes in air and bends, it becomes the pillow. When the skin, when the skin of a you know, a reptile always leaves its skin. It's called moulting. The process is called moulting. So the mountain skin becomes the blanket to the Lord. When he sits, Adi Sesha becomes the seat. When he walks, he becomes the padukas and the umbrella. So there is an all-in-one Adi Sesha. Bed, pillow, blanket, seat, umbrella, footwear. Alongside the glistening eyes of Adi Sesha are the torch. And when he takes his tongue and hits up and down, it becomes the fan. So you have got light, fan, umbrella, seat, everything in one person. Adi Sesha is reborn as Lakshmana. So he says, I will do all types of services. Chitra Ratnamaya Shesha Talpa Mandu Sita Patini Yuchi Chuchi Mitri Bhagya Me Bhagyamu Saumitri Bhagyame says Tyagaraja in the Telugu language. So Rama's younger brother in Sanskritam is called Ramanuja. Ramanuja means Anuja. Ramasya Anujaha Ramanujaha. So Lakshmana is called Ramanuja. So Rama, Sita and Ramanuja went to the forest. Interestingly, we have some bhaktas from the Swami Narayana Sampradayam. Swami Narayana was born as Sahajananda Swami in Uttara Pradesh. And further, after receiving Diksha as Nilakanthavarani, he wandered to the states of Madhya Pradesh, Haryana, Rajasthan and Gujarat. Later, he is revered in, by some of the Sishyas as an Aparavataram of Naranarayana. Because of Durvasa Shapam, he was born. And during his lifetime, he gave two works. One is called Shiksha Patri and second is called Vachanamritam. In Shiksha Patri and Vachanamritam, he asks in a verse, What is my philosophy? He says, Vishishta Dvaitam Matam Me. My philosophy is Vishishta Dvaita. Then in Shiksha Patri, he says, Oh my dear students, Swami Narayan tells his students, Oh my dear students, if you would like to learn Bhakti, read the 5th and the 10th Skandam of Bhagavatam. Panchamadashama Skande Bhagavatayam, he tells in uh, Shiksha Patri. Then he asks a question, If at all my students of Swami Narayana Sampradayam wish to know the quintessence of Brahma Sutras and Upanishads and Bhagavad Gita, what should they do? He says, Ramanujaryam Bhashyam, read the commentaries of Ramanuja on Brahma Sutras Upanishads. He says in Vachanamritam. So Ramanuja, Ramanuja, Lakshmanam Purvajamcha, they all went to the forest. They were I don't know if you know the, vaguely you know the map of India, you can follow me. So you have Uttarakhand, which is a state. Below Uttarakhand comes Uttara Pradesham, it extends, it shares a border with Nepal. And then it also shares a border with Bihar and some parts of Jharkhand. 
So in Uttar Pradesh, you have the eastern part which is called Purvanchalam. In Purvanchala is a place called Ayodhya. Ayodhya Namanagari Spito Janapado Mahan Nivasya Sarayutire Prabhuta Dhanadanyavan Kosalo Nama Muditaha Tatrasi Loka Vishruta. Um, um, Valmiki tells in those days the province of Kosala was world known it seems Kosalo Nama Nagari Kosalo Nama Muditaha Tatrasi Loka Vishruta Manuna Manavendrena Yapuri Nirmita Swayam Manu Bhagavan himself personally constructed Ayodhya. So Ayodhya was by the banks of river Sarayu. It is like your hut. So Sarayu was the river there. And as you, Rama took his sojourn from Ayodhya to the forests of Dandaka. Dandaka forests are in Chhattisgarh and some parts of Madhya Pradesh and some parts of Maharashtra. So he had to come outside Kosala Desham and enter a Desham called Vatsa Desham. In Vatsa Desha is a famous city called Prayagraj. Today we call it Prayagraj. It is called Prayagam. Prayagam means where there is a confluence of rivers. Ganga, Yamuna and Antarvahini Saraswati. In the outskirts of Prayagraj was a small hamlet called as Shringiverapuram where Guha lived. He was a Nishada. After having stayed in Guha's Nisha, uh, uh, Shringiverapura, Rama went further to Prayagraj to meet a Rishi called Bharadwaja. Any people of Bharadwaja Gotram here? Oh, very good. So Bharadwaja Gotram, you are all uh, into your uh, 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 predecessor. Rama has visited your ashrama. So after visiting Bharadwaja Ashrama, Rama takes a route, a walk along Yamuna to a place called Chitrakut. Today it is found in Madhya Pradesh. Chitrakut is by the banks of river Malyavati. So in Chitrakuta, Rama stayed. While Rama, Lakshmana and Sita were staying, one day, see, you see Lakshmana will always take the menu from Sita. Sita will tell, I want the kachori. I had kachori today. So she'll say, I want kachori. And uh, Sita was a, a fan of all India cuisine. So she will tell Masal Dosa and Vidyarthi Bhavan Masal Dosa Madu Kodo. Huh? Lakshmana, Yako, Madu, Lakshmana, Undu, Masal Dosa Madu Ke Yaki Ishtundre. Then, then he, he, she's also a fan of Chakka Varati. Arya. Kerala til chakkai. Uh, you have to take the jackfruit and you have to grind it very well. And from morning till next morning, you have to keep on making it. And it will have loads of uh, ghee as well. So when you consume it, you have to take the bypass. <laughs> she is also a fan of Gujarati dish. Fafra, khandvi, thepla, chunda. Then she will also take dal bati churma, everything. So Lakshmana made all of this. See, to make all of this itself, Lakshmana's entire life will go. Along with that, he had to wash. Sita will do not one work. She will not do. She will say, Lakshmana ye karo, wo karo. So Lakshmana was busy in that. That's a good thing, So, so, Lakshmana was busy in his work. After having had a sumptuous meal, Rama came and put his head for rest on Sita's lap. Sita reclined herself to the trunk of a widely spread tree. So the tree was giving sufficient shade. They had sumptuous meal. Rama was resting and so was Sita resting. Imagine that scene. On that branch of the tree was seated a very, very violently looking crow. Can a crow give a romantic look? What is that violently looking crow? We will tell Menaka Gandhi about this. In our country, her name is Menaka Gandhi, whoever is here. Now, now there was a crow. The crow was supposedly the foster pet or son of Indra. So he was a foster son, pet. Like how we have dogs, cats, as pets. In those days, even crows were pets. So, Indra's pet will be like Indra. Correct? What was Indra? He had done apacharam to Gautama Patni Ahalya. He has kidnapped at least a four or five sacrificial horses meant for Ashwamedha. He had one, two, me two accusations against him. So, Indra's record has not been very good. But the only thing in Bharata Desham is no action was taken on him. So, Indra had a foster son which was the crow. 
so the crow will be aping his father so he, that this crow was seated on the branch of a tree and it was looking down at sita it was looking at sita's tender skin it was looking at sita's bosom and it came all the way flying down and with its sharp beak pricked at sita and went sh she did not want to disturb rama she tried her level best defending herself and fighting the crow so she took some mud balls which were found near her and threw at the crow but the crow was not going away and it tried to prick her again and again and again so there was a physical assault by the crow i remember in 2013 i came to new zealand i just came to auckland and i was also giving lectures in australia so when i said one day i generally don't go on walk i don't do healthy things but when i said i will take a stroll my host said be very careful i don't remember there is a certain kind of a dark crow like bird in australia what is it that is very sharp it will come and hit so that time i was reminded of kakasura vrittantam so maybe this this species forefathers would have lived in india then so this crow it started pricking sita sita couldn't withstand the pain the blood was oozing her silk clothes had turned red she couldn't sh there was a little tremor did you sense it today morning at 5:15 <laughs> i sensed so bhu kampam so she is in fact you we sensed bhu kampam but who is she she is the daughter of bhumi bhumi ja bhumi ja nayakam bhukti mukti dayakam naam kirtan tarakam naravaragata mayikam ramachandram bhavayami raghukulatilakam upendram ram bhumi ja ja shabdam putri vachaka ja means daughter bhumi ja means daughter of mother earth What is the pariyaya vachaka shabdam of bhumi kshiti kshiti ja ramanam chintaye the other word for bhumi is avani so she is called avani ja ravishashi kuja budha guru shukra shanaischar rahu ketu netaram rajakumaram ramam pavana japtam avani ja manoharam bhajare re manas avani ja manoharam kshiti ja ramanam bhumi ja nayakam so she is associated with mother earth she couldn't withstand the lady who's a personification of all perseverance and patience couldn't withstand the pain there was a tremor immediately rama woke up he said what is wrong and he saw sita's clothes soaked in blood see a kshatriya in those days in dhanurvidya is also taught the art of inferring it is called anumanam you have to infer he inferred that there is something somebody who has caused harm to sita immediately he looked up he saw a crow seated on its branch with its beak dripping in blood so he knew this crow has caused the harm see that is where we must learn how to be not redundant in asking questions see if a child falls somewhere on the road and comes immediately you have to watch that and give first aid tum acche the kaise gire क्रो वि you're getting the point so rama or if he said lakshmana sita is hurt please get me the bow and the quiver the crow will run he should neither ask sita about how the crow attacked nor should he inform lakshmana that the crow has attacked you're getting the point in dhanurvidya there was a technique called aishikam so you have to take any object that you see around you and convert that into a weapon you should not wait for the weapon to come you should convert any object into weapon 
whoever has understood or not our indian parliamentarians have understood this very well anything they get mic book everything they will turn into astram all dhanurvidya specialists so rama took a blade of grass a blade of grass and he inserted the brahmastra mantram and converted that into an astram it is called aishikam and he aimed at the crow now the crow couldn't withstand the force and the veracity with which the ayudham was coming the astram was coming it went it tried to run away from the astram but the astram was not leaving it safe so he, the crow came and fell at rama's feet trin lokan samparikramya tameev sharanam gataha says valmiki trin lokan samparikramya it went around to different places tameev sharanam gataha it came and fell at rama's feet remember ravana had not physically assaulted sita he just kidnapped her and every now and then he'll give one reminder you don't marry me you see what happens you don't he is our movie villain as much shaadi nahi karogi to dekh lena kya hota hai sita mm, and he'll go that's all he died he did not physically assault her he did not force he did not do anything whereas this crow has physically assaulted sita more worthy of being to be killed but when it fell at rama's feet what rama did he said since you have fallen at my feet you have sought asylum i cannot kill you but you have committed a mistake if i don't leave, if you if i let you unpunished then anybody can commit punishment from now on and will fall at somebody's feet i throw some uh, 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 all these weapons on someone and finally i come and follow this sir sorry sir i killed someone mujhe maaf kar dijiye i can use this as a weapon so i have to punish you but i can't kill you so there is a sentence in the ramayanam what rama did he took away one of the eyes of the crow vadharham api kakutsthah कृपया पर्यपालयत कृपया आउट ऑफ शेयर बेनेवलेंस मर्सी रामा डिड नॉट किल द क्रो वधार हम अभी काकुत्सा वॉट इज द नेम फॉर रामा गिवन इन दिस लाइन काकुत्स्थ Rama is not called Rama in this line. Valmiki says the one who did not kill the crow was काकुत्स्थ he said rama whose kakutsta did not kill the crow why there is a secret in this line rama's ancestors you know his immediate father dasharatha whose father was aja so if you go on to the ancestors you have ikshvaku mandhata aja dilipa asamanjas amshuman sagara and so on and so forth there was one king who was so valorous when indra had to fight the asuras he said o king of ayodhya please come and assist me please come and help me without your help i will not be able to vanquish the rakshasas immediately this king of ayodhya went when he went there this king realized that he had forgotten his chariot because when you have to fight the opposite person you should have all your weapons in a chariot chariot is not there that is when he asked indra can i get a chariot indra said you see even my few chariots that i have i've sent for service so there is only one way to do i shall induce my energy in a bull which is found in amaravati you stand on the bull assuming it to be a chariot you need a raised platform that's all so let the bull be the raised platform acting like a chariot you stand atop it and you fight the rakshasas so while the king of ayodhya stood on the bull he wanted to get better clarity so he walked on the bull's body and stood on its hump the hump of a bull is called kaku since this king stood on the kaku of a bull he was called kakutstha from then on since rama came in the lineage of kakutstha he is called kakutstha so valmiki while mentioning about rama forgiving the crow by taking away its eye says out of sheer mercy rama did not kill the crow instead of the word rama he says kakutstha did not kill the crow why because who had come now in the form of a crow indra's son who helped rama's ancestor fight the yuddham indra if rama kills indra's son then he may not be answerable well to his ancestors he will become ungrateful 
So he thought, let me not become ungrateful. I have to remain grateful to my ancestors, despite the crow having performed such a non-punishable offence. I will not kill. So he remained a grateful person. That is why Valmiki says Kritagya. For that Kritagya, twenty-seven minutes explanation. कोन्वस्मिन् साम्प्रतम् लोके गुणवान् कष्टवीर्यवान् धर्मग्न्यस्च कृतग्न्यस्च सत्यवाक्यो दृढ़व्रतः धर्मग्न्यस्च the one who knew his dharma see Rama was called by his father plan A day one father said Ram you're going to become the higher apparent, you are going to become the Yuvaraja. Congratulations. Rama said, okay, fine. He went home. He informed Sita, Sita, tayari karo, mein Yuvaraj banne wala hoon. Aisa hai kya? Thik hai. And she also she. That very next morning, again he was called. Dasharatha said, plan B. You have to go to the forest. Thank God Dasharatha was very lucky to have Rama as his son. If Krishna was his son, Krishna would have sued Dasharatha in the court. मुझे forest जाना है क्या? आप और मैया कई कई दोनों बन जाइए and he would have sent them to the forest. Krishna is very smart, very realistic. Rama is idealistic. He will go by the book. He will keep the indicator on and show his hand. That much he will follow the rules. So. Rama said, okay father, you are asking me to go to the forest. I go and you know what all happened. Just some time back I went and I told you how he informed Sita and took Lakshmana to the forest. While they were in Chitrakuta, you remember about 28 minutes back I was talking about Chitrakuta by the banks of river. Mandakini is Ganga. Very good, Malyavati. should remember. In Tamil Nadu, there is one special leaf called as Vallarai. Have you heard of Vallarai? If you eat Vallarai Kirai, memory power will be very good. Try. You get those Brahmi tablets also, right? So, they were in Chitrakuta. While they were in Chitrakuta, that is when Bharata comes. Because Bharata was informed, Bharata was in Jalalabad, the current day Jalalabad. In those days, it was called Girivraja or Rajagraha by the banks of river Sudhama in the region called Kekeya, which comprises the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and the upper parts of Afghanistan. So he was in the Gandharva Pradesham with his grandfather called Ashwapati and uncle called Yudhajit. So while Bharata was there, the messengers went and informed that you have been summoned to Ayodhya. So when Bharata returns to Ayodhya is when he is shell-shocked to see that his mothers have been widowed, his father is dead, his eldest brother Rama is in the forest. So he now says that without Rama in Ayodhya, I will not stay in Ayodhya. My mother may have troubled my father and might have wanted my brother to languish in the deep forests of Dandaka. But I will not end up enjoying these, the kingdom and the comforts and the riches of Ayodhya without my brother. And he goes to Chitrakuta. When he goes to Chitrakuta, Vashishtha, one of the famous rishis called Jabali, Dhirghayu, Vamadeva, Markandeya, they all accompany Bharata. So that they can coax Rama to come back to Ayodhya. Jabali goes and says, Kya Ram Pitra Pali Palan, Pita ke vachan ka palan ka, Pita hi guzar gaye. Father himself is dead. What is Pitru Akya Pali Palanam? What is all this? This is what which Rishi said? Jabali. Where are Jabali's descendants in Tamil Nadu? They have started political parties. So, he said, That is when Rama patiently listened. See, there is one book, I am sure management heroes here would have read this book called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. So the fourth habit is, listen first to understand and then be understood. If you want to harness and gain knowledge, always listen to someone and then you can ask questions. 
So Rama listened patiently to Jabali. He didn't get perturbed. He patiently listened. Then he said, my father made a grave mistake by having you as a minister. I thought my father was flawless. There was one flaw. Appointing you as a minister was the biggest mistake. Then Bharata tells, Bhaiya, I have come to give two things back to you. Rama asked what? One, Ayodhya. Second, me. I want to give Ayodhya back to you. What will I do with Ayodhya? I have come to submit myself to you. What I would have done in that position? Theek hai. Tum itne mujhe force kar rahe ho, Bharat. मैं तुम्हें कभी भी ना नहीं कह सकता ना तुम मेरे छोटे भाई हो एंड आई वुड हैव कम हो गया इन अवर कंट्री इफ समबडी इज कॉट इन सम केस यू विल थिंक दे विल बी लॉयटरिंग इन जेल फॉर टेन इयर्स दे विल गो टुडे नेक्स्ट डे दे विल कम आउट इन बेल एंड दैट टू व्हेन दे कम आउट इन बेल वी विल ऑल बी सेलिब्रेटिंग तलेवर पेटर या विजिल एवरीथिंग एंड इफ दैट पर्सन हु इज कॉट इन द केस नोस दैट ही विल बी सुपरली कॉट इन द जेल ही विल फेक वन चेस्ट पेन आ and he will do he would be very hale and healthy he would have been jogging in the morning suddenly the chest pain will come so here rama could have said acha bharat hi bula raha hai to main ja sakta hu sita would have also agreed but he said i have promised my father whether my father is living or dead doesn't matter pitravakya paripalanam is my dharma If you can't fulfill the promise that you have given, it is better you don't exist. Words, promises, commitments is very important in life. You commit yourself to something you have to do. It could be a small project, simple things. See, for example, I don't know. During Krishna Janmashtami, there are two big festivals. One for the birth of Rama called Sri Rama Navami. the other is gokula ashtami or krishna janmashtami or shri jayanti we call it in different names rama was the aristocratic son whose birth was awaited in ayodhya but what do we make for ram navami butter milk gudka pani easy things for an aristocratic son where was krishna born in the jail he was born in mathura jail and we make every possible sweet in the world So while we make the sweets, you know, each region in Bharat Adesham has come up with its own sweets. You have got Shondesh, Roshgullo, Gude Roshgullo, Chonno Poi, Chompokili, all that from Bengal. You will have sweets from Gujarat. You will have sweets from Kerala. You will have sweets from Karnataka. Something very peculiar to the south of India for Krishna Janmashtami is to make rice balls. One is salted, the other one is sweet. It is called Shidai. You have got sweet Shidai. and up chidai you got two chidais but it is an art to make that chidai that is different so when you make that chidai you make balls i still vividly remember as a boy i used to be so excited when my grandmother used to make that balls i'll say even i will make those balls but you know families in those days were huge so you will have to make four five full containers of after rolling it 10 balls i would have gotten tired i will just leave it and go now i repent even that small commitment i couldn't fulfill see i had told my grandmother that i will roll the balls very well for her and keep it ready for her to fry in fresh oil but even that small commitment we are not able to teach our children how to fulfill then where will that child fulfill bigger promises that the child makes look at rama dharmo vigrahavan he was asked by bharata to return to ayodhya he said without fulfilling my promise of 14 years i will not do patina pravesham there was not even 1% compromise in his dharma patina pravesham i told my father i promised my father that i shall languish in the forest i will not experience the comforts and the riches of a city that is why even while he was in kishkindha sugriva's region he did not enter kishkindha he stayed in the outskirts when kish sugriva was to be coronated he sent his younger brother lakshmana and said you go inside the city coronate him and come i will not come when he entered lanka he did not enter the city he stayed in the forest he sent lakshmana to do the pattabhishekam for bibhishana in a place called kelaniya in the outskirts of colombo today 
So Rama was very clear, if I follow a dharma, I will follow that till the T. Dharmo vigrahavan, konvas minsam pratam loke, gunavan, first gunam. What does gunam mean here? What does that gunam stand for? Very good. Who said? Excellent. Saushilyam. Konvas minsam pratam loke, gunavan, kashaviryavan, dharmagnyascha, Kritagnyascha, for Kritagnyata, what example did I give? Kakasura Vrittantam. Kritagnyascha, Satyavakyodridhavrataha, Charitrenacha, Koyuktaha, Charitrenacha. What was the outstanding feature of Rama? Charitram. Charitram is character. You know, we have the saying when money is lost, nothing is lost, when health is lost, something is lost, when character is lost, everything is lost. Who said this? Gandhi. That is a different question that he has said this. When character is lost, everything is lost. But what is this character? I will give you one beautiful instance. Rama and Lakshmana go in search of Sita as they enter from Maharashtra into the region of the current day Karnataka in Kishkindha. They meet up with the excommunicated brother of Vali called as Sugriva. Sugriva comes and says, Rama, my wife is missing. Rama says, even my wife is missing. Same pinch. <laughs> Same pinch, Rama. Even my wife is missing. Your wife is missing. Wife, wife, missing, missing. So Rama said, what should I do? Rama, if you help in retrieving my wife Ruma from the clutches of my brother Vali, I will help re retrieving your wife Sita from the clutches of Ravana. Rama said, fair deal. They were saying an MOU. Now, Vali was summoned for the war, for the duel. Even today, if you go to the region that was ruled by the Khmer dynasty. Khmer dynasty ruled from the 8th century till about the 14th century CE in Kambuja Desham. Kambuja is Cambodia. So you have a city, the capital is called Nom Pen. Have you heard of this name? Because lot of Tamil bards from the state of Tamil Nadu by the sea went to Kambuja Desham. They carried the verses of Andal. Andal is called Nampavai in Tamil. Our lady, our, go, our girl. Nampavai in Tamil. Nampavai means our girl. So Nam became Nom. Pavai became Pen. So, Nom, Nam Pavai is Nom Pen, the capital. And there is another city in Cambodia, the famous one called Siam Reap. In Siam Reap, there is the famous, world famous UNESCO temple called as Angkor Wat. Besides Angkor Wat, you have smaller temples constructed in the 8th and 9th centuries. It's called Bantai Samre, Bantai Spre. You go to that temple, don't miss this in case you go in the future. There is a huge panel of Sugriva and Vali fighting. It's a very beautiful panel. So Sugriva and Vali were fighting each other. First day, Sugriva was extremely hurt, physically assaulted, bruised. He said, Rama, I believed in you and went, see how, how badly my brother has hurt me. Rama said, see, when both of you were fighting, you are twins. You, are, you look very similar. I couldn't kill. By mistake, if I kill someone and you die, what will I do? So what should I do tomorrow, Rama? I will give you a mala of a flower called Gajapushpi. Wear that mala and go and you fight. So the one who's worn the mala is Sugriva. Without the mala is Vali. I can easily distinguish. And he shot an arrow straight at the chest of Vali and Vali fell on the ground. No, Vali couldn't take the pain, the thunderous pain, the lightning speed at which the arrow had come. With that little courage that he mustered, he took that arrow out. He took that arrow out. On that arrow was written, Rama. Rama, it was a customized arrow. Now we get those mugs, t-shirt and all customized, right? In those days, I don't know, in the 1950s, 60s, 70s, people who got married, whether in the north or south of India, 
the girl would be given a lot of cooking vessels. On that vessel, they will mark the initial of that girl. It is called tinkering, VVS, MMS. So, so it was written Rama, over it. So, Vali took that arrow and he was shocked. Because to him, to his eyes, to his mind, Rama was an ideal human being who will not interfere in somebody else's domestic affairs. Is it the same Rama? And while he, his eyes were shedding tears because of the pain, Rama came and stood in front of Vali. Vali started throwing a volley of accusations at Rama. He said, the issue is between me and my brother. Who are you to interfere? Even if you wanted to be the arbitrator, you should have sought our permission. We should have come to a consensus and then called you. You are nobody to interfere in our affairs. For example, if you say, Wali, how dare you abduct your own brother's wife? I will tell you, we are animals. In animals, there is no concept of fidelity. You can have multiple relationships. Who are you to question what is happening in our race, in our animal clan? Huh. I have heard that you were in your senses while your wife Sita was next to you. I just heard that your wife has been abducted. Maybe the person, after abducting Sita, this has caused immense depression to you. So you are finding every person who is coming on your way and you are killing. Is this what your teacher Vasishtha, your Purohita has taught you? To interfere in somebody else's affairs? Rama, do not give me the answer that you are a Kshatriya and you are entitled to hunt animals. In the list of animals that can be hunted, the monkey doesn't fall in its list. How dare you come and hunt me? Wali threw one question after the other. Lakshmana started sweating. Is it some court or something? But Rama was quiet, patient. See, small things in Ramayana give huge management lessons. When somebody is shouting first, you listen. Then after they have vented everything, then you should say, see, you have said this. Correct. But do you think you, you should always, when one shouts, you should not shout back. Then it will become dharma, kshetre, kurukshetre, samaveta, yuyutsavaha. It will become a yuddhabhumi. When someone speaks, you just listen. Listening doesn't make you a coward. Listening doesn't make you a loser. Listening makes you a winner. Rama listened. Then he retaliates to every accusation what Wali has thrown in his own diplomatic soft manner. See, you can always be assertive. You don't have to shout. You can always assert yourself. Be as clear in your words as possible and give it in a tone where the person knows the purport of it even days later. You don't have to shout. Rama gives all the answers. Then finally, Vali, after listening, says, Rama, what you have done is right. What I have done is wrong. But see, bad luck, I got this enlightenment while I was dying. A few days before, had I gotten this enlightenment, Jnano Dayam, I would have at least come along with you to the forest, see, and he dies. So there is Vali Maranam. Next comes Vali's wife. What was her name? Very good. Tara. So Tara comes running. She wants to shout, pronounce curses. She wants to abuse Rama because her husband is dead because of Rama. So she comes with her open hair, spread hair. She wants to come to the Yuddha Bhumi and she wants to hurl abuses at Rama. The moment she sees Rama, she says, Jitendri Yascha. Tvamaprameyascha, Durasadascha, Jitendriyascha, Uttamadharmikascha, Kshitikshamavan, Kshatajopamaksha. She says, how handsome you are Rama. She has, he has killed her husband. She is coming to abuse Rama. The moment she sees Rama, how handsome you are Rama. Jitendriyascha, Uttamadharmikascha, Uttamadharmikascha. You are the best among dharmikas. That time she says one word. Jitendriyascha, Indriyam means senses. See, we have two kinds of Indriyams in Vedanta Shastra.
ஒன் இஸ் ஞான இந்திரியம் ஞான இந்திரியம் செகண்ட் இஸ் கர்ம இந்திரியம் கர்ம இந்திரியம் ஞான இந்திரியம் சி ஐ கேன் சி யூ ஆல் ஐ நீட் த ஐஸ் இஃப் தெர் இஸ் பிரசாதம் இமேஜின் தெர் இஸ் மசால் வடை யூனோ வடா இஸ் த வேர்ட் இன் சவுத் இந்தியா இன் த நார்த் வ பிகம்ஸ் ப படா தஹி படா so it becomes dahi bada bada or vada whatever it is made out of the same ingredient urad dal so imagine there is a vada and it smells very well first i see it even before i see it somebody cooks it behind i can smell it so nose is another indriyam right when somebody puts the bottle down immediately we'll turn why because our ears are always active imagine your temperature in the summer you are just past it touches 30 32 Oh sir, we can't take it, and there is no power, and there is no AC. And after some time, it comes when the air touches you, you can really feel it. So skin is another indriyam. Last is tongue. See, we watch every cooking channel, every cooking channel. I've been speaking for the last thirteen years. I give Rama and Am Bhagavad Gita Upanyasams. you take one video of my bhagavad gita uploaded against one video of a cooking recipe uploaded you will get lakhs of views for that cooking recipe in one hour so we are all bhubukshu not mumukshu we are not interested in moksha we are interested only in eating correct so it gets highlighted everything they'll say itna lo wo lo ye lo what a tarla banuva tarabanu and then there is our tamil yogambal sundar then there is hebbars kitchen and then what else tell me where is the channel archanas ha huh? kitchen archanas kitchen shanti's kitchen ha huh? venkatesh but mommy olo pakara ha huh? venkatesh but ha huh? ahemas kitchen Ah. we get all this now i will ask questions from bhagavad gita <laughs> there will be silence okay now why do we cook so much we take all the pain steak itna lijiye mai us kasoor mein thi itna daliye for what from the tip of the tongue a few inches is what we can taste for those 2 inches of our tongue because after it goes here you won't know the taste before it touching your tongue you won't know the taste but for those 2 inches of the tongue we struggle and toil our entire life correct so this is the fifth indriyam tongue eyes nose ears skin tongue but for all of this to work your memory cells should be intact see to a coma patient the senses are there but does he have the reflex see the brain will not tell what you are eating is masal vade it won't tell he is living but he won't so it is called gnanendriyam your knowledge should be connected to it see some people who are adept at cooking can tell you just with that smell oh urad flower is being fried they can tell you nose is so powerful then besides this see this gnana indriyam is important but to get all of this you need karma indriyam to make masal vade masal vade will not walk on its own and come you need legs walk take use your hands take it put it into your mouth so you need hands you need legs you need a face you need reproductive and excretory organs in your life so this is called karma indriyam you do karma with it so pancha gnana indriyam pancha karma indriyam so indriya is a problem in our life if you don't walk doctor will say bahut weight jyada ho raha hai walk karo if you walk too much if there is a purva janma karma then you will have knee problem then they'll say knee replacement has to be done knee cap has to be put don't strain yourself sit for pressure you take some tablet water gets accumulated in the feet then they'll give you another tablet to get rid of that water that tablet will have a say so for all these indriyas there will be interconnected problems but beyond these indriyas comes a feature called kamam lust see why did 
Ravana abducts Sita because he had a lust on Sita. What was the lust on? On the skin. One fire accident, that skin will go. But we all say, so, so beautiful skin. What will we do with that skin? After we are dead, they will put it in the crematorium. When they come in box, we will come as ashes. All that L'Oreal, uh, all that cream that we have applied, in one second, one bug dabba of ashes, they will give it to our relatives and send it home. One second is enough. In those days, they had to burn. It will take 12-13 days. Nowadays, like cookies, you send our body on one side. Next side, we are baked. Powder. One Horlicks bottle, they will send it. Tata, anger kar, bottle lar kar, tata. So, Indriya Vasham. We are all subservient to Indriya. What was Vali? Vali was a great Vanara, great Gunam, great Valor. But he had succumbed to Kamam because he had a lust on his brother's daughter, wife, Ruma. Brother's wife is to be treated like a daughter. He had lust on her. While excommunicating his brother, he took his brother's wife in his custody. That is why Sugriva was fighting. Tara, on the other hand, came to abuse Rama, telling, How dare you kill my husband? The moment she saw Rama, she knew why Rama had won and Vali had lost. Because Rama had never lusted on somebody else's wife or any other woman. Whereas her husband did. So she said, Now I have found the secret, Rama, why you have won. You are unlike my husband, Vali. Because Vali had lusted on his own brother's wife, Ruma. You are unlike my husband's father, my father-in-law. Who was the father-in-law of Tara? Wind is Vayu. So that is Hanuman. Remember, Indra. Indra's son was Vali. Surya's son was Sugriva. Vayu's son was Hanuman. So her father-in-law was Indra. So she tells Rama, see, my husband lusted, had immoral infatuation for his brother's wife, Ruma. My father-in-law had an illicit relationship with Ahalya. Their own Swami Brahma had done Suta Abhilakshanam. In his Srishti, he had a relationship with Saraswati. So, all this is there, but look at you, Rama. You are the one who has won over your senses. So, because you have won over your senses, you have found victory. So, go back to the shloka. Charitre Nacha Koyuktaha. Who is the one who is of good character? Rama is the one of good character. Sarva Bhuteshu Kohitaha Vidwan. Vidwan. Vidwan means you should be adept in your science. Somebody says, Sir, I have done PhD in the integral series and I have completely mastered the integral calculus. They go to a shop. Calculator is not working. The person is giving four or five numbers. He says, Add, I can only do integral calculus. Addition nahi kar sakta hoon. Wo level match hi mujhe aata hai. See, I finished engineering and I came home. The day I came home, the fuse had gone away. So my grandmother out of sheer innocence said, fix the fuse, you are an engineer. I said, party! <laughs> In engineering, they don't teach fuse and all. They will never teach anything which is useful for everyday's life. Fixing, tap fixing. That and all you have to in in here I don't know. In India we here you have to do it, know it all right. You have to you should do it on your own. There in India we have urban clap. You fix, you call plumber, the plumber will come. Plumber has not studied engineering, but everything he does will be related to our household work. So Vidwan, what was the question of Valmiki? Who is that one who is a Vidwan? Expert. 
see when they put the word expert i generally tell tv channels will ask sir under your name what you should put you just say vedic speaker sir can we put expert no because if i call myself an expert and somebody asks me a question and i don't know that expert will go away instead i don't use that word at all expert means you should know that science or art in and out completely adept you should be so rama was a vidwan vidwan kah ka samarthascha kaschaik priyadarshanaha atmavan ko jitakrodah the one who has won over anger jitakrodah see what is the greatness of rama he has won over anger has rama got angry is all cholo no who is that yes tell where okay பார்த்ததில் இவர் ப சுவாமி சொல்லிட்ட நாங்கள் பார்த்ததில் சார் வந்தால் வந்திருக்கோம் வராமையும் இருந்திருக்கோம் இன் ராமேஸ்வரம் வி ஆர் வெரி க்ளோஸ் ஹூ செட் தட் வெரி குட் ஸோ ராமா இஸ் ஜென்ரலி வெரி கூல் அண்ட் கம்போஸ்ட் வெரி வெரி சீசன்ட் இண்டிவிஜுவல் பட் ஹி வென் ஹீ கோஸ் ஆஃப்டர் கிஷ்கிந்தா கிராசிங் கர்நாடக பிரதேசம் கெட்ஸ் இன் டு த திராவிட லேண்ட் த தமிழ்நாடு see you will all be surprised in our puranas the state of tamil nadu is referred to as dravidam wherever the word reference comes dravida deshe because the word dravida is a sanskrit word it means peninsular so rama went he went to the shores of the indian ocean and there he asked vibhishana who had sought asylum vibhishana what should i do now then is vibhishana said you have to take all these vanaras to lanka and fight rama there is no other go my brother will not leave sita to so to retrieve sita from the clutches of my brother you have to fight him so rama said okay i will take now these vanara said sir we don't know swimming we don't know swimming how will you take us we will get sinus also if we swim we can't swim so sugriva was their hr head he said i will not let any of my human my vanara resources we are head not hr we are vanara resources affected so you have to take them carefully now these vanaras were excited they told their wives i am going on an on site project yell hogta idare they are all from karnataka yell hogti dira neevu o foreign hogti dira o ಎಷ್ಟು ಕೊಡ್ತಾರಂತೆ ಪರ್ಕು ಏನು ಕೇಳಿಲ್ವಾ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಗಂಡರು ಅವು ಫಾರಿನ್ ಹೋಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸರ್ ಅವರು ಶ್ರೀಲಂಕಾ ಹೋಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೊ ದೇ ಆಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಟು ಲಂಕಾ ಸೊ ವಿಭೀಷಣ ಸೆಟ್ ದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವೇ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ದಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟ್ ಅ ಸೇತು ದೇ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಸ್ವಿಮ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ದಮ್ ಸೊ ರಾಮ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಟು ಒಪ್ಟೈನ್ ದ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂನಲ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರೆನ್ಸ್ ಸಮುದ್ರ ರಾಜ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಟಿ ಕೆ ದೆನ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ the aquatic animals are dying fishes are dying nature is getting affected ozone has got a hole they will for constructing one bridge you, it will go till the hole in ozone layer so rama wanted to follow the rule book he said what should i do vibhishana said as per the ministry of waterways varunalayam if you do prayopavesham prayopavesham in sanskritam means fasting unto death prayopavesham so you do prayopavesham for 3 days then as per class number 2b of the ministry they have to give clearance so rama said okay but remember since i'm talking about prayopavesham which is fasting i have to tell you as per shastram you cannot fast on the day you want what rama did was a mistake so he had to bear the brunt of it you cannot fast suppose you think आज से हर सोमवार मैं फास्ट करूंगा ऐसा नहीं हो सकता है हर सोमवार हर मंगलवार वन फॉर शिवा वन फॉर मुर्गा वन फॉर विष्णु वन फॉर रजनीकांत विजयकांत यू कैनॉट डू लाइक दैट फास्टिंग ऑन द डे यू वांट इज नॉट अलाउड एज पर आवर स्क्रिप्चर्स यू हैव इफ एट ऑल यू कैन फास्ट यू हैव टू डू इट ओनली ऑन एकादशी विच इज कॉल्ड हरिवासरम दिस इज वॉट पुराणा स्टेट हरिवासर व्रतम Eleventh day in every paksha, be it Shukla paksha or Krishna paksha, Ekadashi, you have to fast. And what is the rule for fasting? Only one rule. You should not eat anything. That is the only rule. 
दे लास्ट सर एकादशी के दिन क्या करना है कुछ नहीं करना है एंड व्हेन शुड द एकादशी व्रतम बिगिन प्रीवियस डे दशमी रात्रि 10th day after your dinner at about 6:30 7 you should go to the kitchen and talk that entire night 11th day full day and night then 12th morning dwadashi tithi morning first after the sun has risen 2 hours from sunrise you should eat sumptuous food this is the rule for close to 36 hours you have to fast can you drink water as per puranic text you cannot drink even a sip of water eating chhod dijiye peena bhi nahi hai ek boond bhi nahi peena hai but now comes problem for sugar tablet <laughs> diabetes tablet i cannot keep my stomach empty so our rishis were all very concerned people about our health so they said kha nahi sakte hain yadi swasthya ka kuch problem hai तो आप फल खा सकते हो फल विच इज बनाना और समथिंग बट नाउ वी विल गो टू द नेक्स्ट सेट वेराइटी ऑफ फ्रूट्स दे विल बी ब्लूबेरी रेसबेरी ब्लू स्ट्रॉबेरी दिस अवकॉडो देन ड्रैगन फ्रूट देन दैट स्मेलिंग फ्रूट ऑफ मलेशिया व्हाट इज कॉल व्हाट इज इट कॉल्ड डूरियन देन जैक फ्रूट ऑपूस अल्फोन्सा नाउ इफ यू ईट सो मच ऑफ फ्रूट टिल नेक्स्ट डे एकादशी यू वॉन्ट फील द hunger then next level after after having had the fruits then we will go to the next extent what can we have that is when we have come up with all substitutes you cannot have rice remember this basic rule last rule you cannot have rice so immediately our ancestors found a shortcut they can have idli <laughs> because it is very well pounded and ground rice right so you can have that then you can have sabudana huh? but sabudana is not permitted as per orthodoxy because it is processed food it is semi processed right so generally it is should not be consumed but okay now we have all substitutes so our ekadashi vratam is equivalent to feasting not fasting it is feasting but as per shastram you cannot fast on any day but ekadashi so rama did prayopavesham for 3 days and as per that clause 12b 12c and all samudra raja varuna had to come and say yes but for 3 days varuna did not come on the third day also he did not come time was over there was a stop watch there 10 9 8 7 6 immediately all the tv channel started reporting ram ne prayupavesh kiya aur abhi tak varun raj nahi aaye hain dekhte hain ki kya hota hai aaj ka news now rama got angry he said lakshmana go fetch my bow and the quiver of arrows chapamanaya saumitre Sumitra san Saumitri Lakshmana go fetch my bow and the quiver of arrows I will teach the samudram a lesson He thinks he can get away by not following the rules that are laid out in the shastras that he has to answer the prayers of a person who's doing prayopavesham for 3 days Raktaankalochana His eyes got reddened towards the ends Raktaankalochana he took his arrow inserted in the bow and wanted to release it on the samudram immediately varuna with his two wives came pahimam pahimam rama rama you, you may be wondering why i did not turn up i was actually picking up some gifts for you <laughs> he said ratnakara ivakara i am called ratnakara i have got various gems on my bed i was stringing them so that i can bring it for you rama adukulla panitele yempa why did you come that is when rama said oh varuna did you think that i was there to punish you absolutely not i didn't want to punish you i knew you would come i knew you will come and help me varuna 
I knew when you would come, I had to gift you something. I knew if I would ask you if there are enemies, you would say there are enemies. I was keeping this arrow ready so that I can hit on the enemies that you have. The monkey Sarun thought, we thought he's a very honest person. <laughs> Tyagaraja says, Samaya nikita gumata ladene range shudu sadganga jana kudu sangi tasam pradaya kudu samaya niki samaya nikita gumata ladene. What was Rama's quality? He will act as per the situation. Then he will talk. So if there is a situation or circumstance where Rama has got angry, yes, during that stage where he had to punish Varuna. But what was great about his anger? What is great about anger, sir? Vedam doesn't say one should not get angry. Remember this. In Rudram, we have this line. Drape andhasaspate daridran nila lohita. Drape. Drape means one who gets angry at the right time. See, anger is also a good quality, but it should come to the right person at the right time in the right proportion. See, the husband and wife are walking in some park. I will you can take Kumara Park or Madhava Park in Bangalore or Panagal Park or Nageshwara Park in Chennai. King Circle Park in Bombay, some park you take. Husband and wife are walking. One person who comes in Harley Davidson, that, 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 says this is a democratic country. How does it matter if the gold chain is in her neck or my neck? <laughs> Pulls that chain, runs away. What will the wife expect? She will expect her husband should get angry. Kya hua? Like Rithik Roshan. He has to run behind that Harley Davidson, shake the chain. This is what the wife will expect. Husband says, Dunya mein Siddhant bahut important hai. Hamara kuch nahi hota hai. Jo chain hai, wo Bhagwan ne hume diya tha. Usi Bhagwan ne hum se chain liya. Hum kuch nahi kar sikte hai kamini. He tells, she will not get angry at the person who stole. <laughs> So in certain occasions you should get angry or at least act as if you are getting angry. Correct? So anger is also a quality. It should come to the right person at the right time. You know some people will always exercise their anger on weak people. And when there are powerful people, no. What is the use? You are not showing it to the right person. Right proportion, right proportion. You know, some people will say, Ivarda Ingatakar, go patarna vichungo, go over patu tarna, ye pretty and adakar the never kateria, abdina kove, but a pradana. He is my husband. If he gets angry, he does not know how to control himself. Then he is not fit to get angry. When you do not know how to control yourself when you get angry, you are unfit to get angry. So Rama knew how to get angry. He showed it against Varuna. He knew how to control his anger. That is why he said, if you have got any enemies, tell me. So, what was the question of Valmiki? Jitakrodhaha. Who is the one who has won over his anger? Rama has won over his anger. Kon vasmin sampratam loke gunavan kascha viryavan dharmagnyas chakritagnyas cha satyavakyodrida vrataha charitrena chako yuktaha sarva bhute shuko hitaha vidwan kakka samarthas chakas chaika priyadarshanaha atmavan ko jita krodaha dutiman ko anasuyakaha so Rama, his name is beautiful. How is he to look at? Extremely beautiful. How are his qualities? Extremely beautiful. So the topic is Rama. For Rama, we have spent one hour and 34 minutes. What is the second half? Rama Janma Bhumi. So where is this Rama born? He was born in the province of Kosala. In its capital, in its Rajadhani, which was called Ayodhya. Ayodhya aparajiteti vidita nakam parenasthita is a word in Sanskritam. It is said that every name of Vaikuntha 
is applicable to Ayodhya. So Ayodhya's other names and Vaikuntha's other names are the same. Ayodhya is Vaikuntha. So Rama was born in Ayodhya. Why in our Shastram, place of birth is important? See, let's assume this. In Sanatana Dharma, Hinduism, we take very clearly that Paramatma has pervaded the creation. Remember this. I am not getting very deep into Vedanta because some of you may not be introduced to Vedanta. You may find it tough. But I will just give you a brief. There are three causes. If you read philosophy in Oxford or Cambridge or even Monash University, you will have to read this. It is called three causes. Material cause, accessory cause, instrumental cause. Sahakari karanam, upadana karanam, nimitta karanam. Upadanam, you need some material. How do you make dosa? With the dosa batter. So dosa batter is the upadanam, that material. On what do you make it? A dosa tava. So that is the instrumental cause. Sahakari karanam. Who makes it? We. So we are the nimitta karanam. See, all three are important. I am there. Tava is there. Batter is not there. What will I do? I have to keep looking at the tava. There is no batter. Imagine there is batter. Upadana karanam. I am there. Nimitta karanam. But tava is not there. Apa mama talelia vakamudiyo? I cannot use mama's head as the tava. Right? So I need the tava for that. And second, imagine the tava is there and the batter is there. We are not there. See, this is not Mr. India. Where that batter will in itself fall on that uh, tava and make a dosa in itself. It needs us. So three things are important. Upadana karanam, nimitta karanam, Sahakari Karanam, material cause, instrumental cause, accessory cause. This is the basic of Vedanta. I am just giving you a small introduction for a beginner's course. When the world was created, universe was created, what is the material? You are getting my question correct? For Udosa, I explained, Dosa batter is the material. What is the material for creation of this entire universe? If we say that there is some matter, sir, some kuch matter hai, or Bhagavan ne us matter se is universe ko banaya, then there is a problem. Which states that along with Paramatma, perennially, there existed something which was as powerful as him called the matter. So matter and God existed at the same time. That is also wrong. Then matter will not be subservient to the Lord. If I say that the Lord has created, he needs a matter which is subservient to him, which is inside him, which he must have created. How do we understand? Upanishad gives a statement. How do we construct our house? Mortar, brick, wood. How does a spider construct its house? Through its own saliva. A spider will not use any third product party material. It will secrete its saliva and create its own web. So from its own body and matter, its house is created. It lives in that house. When it wants, when it wants to get rid of that house, it will absorb that web and go. So the web comes out of its mouth from its own material and when it wants to undergo dissolution, the web will go inside its own body. Like how Paramatma creates the universe from him, sustains and in dissolution he takes it within. How do you know he takes it within? In Bhagavatam we learn of a charitram called Vatapatra Shai. When Markandeya was in search of what is the secret of this creation, a little boy who was loitering and moving and crawling on the leaf of a bani and Vatadalam, he absorbed Markandeya. Shri Vasudeva and Kotla Kukshi Undi Kukshi Undi Vadu Kukshi Lo Srishti Mottamundi. The entire creation is within his stomach. So he creates, he is the Upadana Karanam. He is the accessory cause, he is the instrumental cause. Now, he has created the universe. What do we say after creation? He can go to his own house and stay, take rest. No, he will not do that. Inside his creation also, he has pervaded. Who is there inside this mic? 
Bhagavan. See, there is not one place in this world which is not pervaded by the Lord. If you read Prahlada Charitram, the father asked, Where is that Lord who protects you? He said, Sarvatra Asti Sada Asti. At all points in time, everywhere my Lord is. So in this mic he is there, in this phone he is there, he is there within you and he is within me. So in this entire creation which is of the Lord, where he has pervaded, how is Ayodhya alone important? We say Rama Janma Bhumi. The counter argument is, Sir, Aap hi bolte ho, Bhagavan sabhi jagah hai. To aapko mandir usi Ayodhya mein kyun chahiye? Nungam Bakam Chennai mein bhi ban sakta hai. Baswam Gudi Bengalur mein bhi ban sakta hai. Ghatkopar Mumbai mein bhi ban sakta hai. Basant Vihar Dilli mein bhi ban sakta hai. Wo kyun Ayodhya hi chahiye? The prima face is, God is there everywhere. That means you take some other area, wo kyu mandir vahi banana hai? You have got the purva paksham correct? The answer is, yes, God is there everywhere. There is no doubt about it. But, Agama Shastram says, our understanding of God is very premature. See, in this mic, God is there. Vedanta is very clear. He is there everywhere. He is there inside the mic. But I do not have the ability to perceive the God in the mic. Understand this. I am not a Maharishi to see God. Are mic. Itne achhe Bhagwan mujhe darshan de rahe. Main nahi dekh sakta hu. Main thodi to prahlad hu ya vibhishan hu. Parama bhagavata mauni varasha shibhi bhakara sanaka sananda nadi. Jazura kim puru jakana kaka shibhu sudha narada. Tum puru pavana sunu bala chandra dhara shuka saroja bhava bhusura varulu. Parama bhavanu lugan ulu shashpatulu. Kamala bhava sukha musadhanu bhava muga kayendato mayanu bhavulu. I am not in that laundry list of bhagavatas. I am not prahlada. I am not vibhishana. I am not dhruv maharaj. I do not have the ability to see the Lord inside the mic. He is there everywhere, but I can't see. How is my focus? I need a temple. I need a murti. I need a focus. Only when I go inside a temple, I see the Lord in the Garbhagraham. My mind is focused on the Lord, head to toe. It stays in my memory and I am able to meditate. So for dhyanam, I need a temple. For dhyana, I need a murti. And I need a murti at a place where I can associate my emotions with. See, generally when you pass by a lane, you will tell your children, this is the hospital where I was born. This is the city where I was born. Correct? If we are so philosophical, what should we say? Pata nahi ki mein kahaan paida hua tha, kyun paida hua tha. Mein aisa kyun hoon, mein aisa kyun hoon, I would have sung. Right? But, I tell, this is the place where I was born. See, when I came to Wellington 30 years back, it was that street where we had a small house. So for staying in one house for two years, you get emotionally attached. That house has no punyam because you have stayed. Our staying in a house may adds not one brownie point to that house. Right? But we say, that is the house where I was born, that is the place. You know, when they take me on the streets of Seattle, my host will say, this is the place where they sat and they wanted to come up with the concept of Starbucks. <laughs> Starbucks is from Seattle only, right? So they say, this is how they thought. <laughs> so, so so they'll say, you know, both of them were thinking and then they concept, they came with the concept called chai latte. And the chai latte, what does it have? It will be this big a tumbler. It is a well. And they will ask you 21 questions. You want it with milk, without milk, with A1, A2, B1, B2. Do you want it with the cream, without the cream? You want with cinnamon powder, without cinnamon powder? You want with vanilla essence, without vanilla essence? With sugar, without sugar? Sir, give me one tea, sir. Four. <laughs> one tea, sir. Sir, 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 sir
now we all get emotional this is where starbucks the concept was born this is where i lived for us primitive mortals we have association with the place for ramo vigrahavan dharmah why shouldn't we have ayodhya why shouldn't there be a temple by saying that i want a temple i am not going against the vedantic concept that he is there everywhere by asking that the temple should be there in the very place which is believed to be where he was born i am not going against the civilization the civilization is open enough and liberal enough to state that god is there everywhere and in everyone but at the same time history warrants us to take make sure that we preserve our places of heritage we preserve there are so many islands in new zealand where you cannot throw things and come where you have to pre book yourself and go to that island and come there are there's a wetumon caves where you see those stalactites and stalagmites and all those fireflies where you are supposed to follow rules every country be it natural or artificial you have such a beautiful beehive premises here the parliament there is an old one next to it you are not destroying it you are keeping that as well every country tries to preserve its places of heritage what india did today was very late every country tries to preserve ramayana is not a 300 year old concept the oldest ramayanam besides valmiki ramayanam even before kamba ramayanam is the kakavin ramayanam of java which was written in the 8th century ce we have inscriptions of pallava chola pandya kakatiya which talk about ramayanam we have the devgad the deogad temple in uttar pradesh that is based on panchayatana puja worship ramayana is a civilization in itself and the vedi aadharam of ramayanam is ayodhya when you begin ramayana you have to begin with ayodhya how can you begin harry potter without hogwarts hogwarts school of witchcraft when rowling wanted to write from the sorcerer stone how would you even attempt at writing without having the hogwarts school of witchcraft even for a novel you need a place a base in never have i ever you need devi vishwakumar right you need devi vishwakumar who goes to a university right so every every series has its own even a creative novel needs a place of reference a country two islands you've got you need a capital you need wellington for ramayana you need ayodhya and in ayodhya you need a temple which was a temple so ram janma bhoomi is a landmark to celebrate the civilization which is perennially perpetually in continuum so rama is a personification of dharma and beauty and qualities and rama janma bhoomi is that place which celebrates rama and his qualities so rama and rama janma bhoomi go hand in hand and they are inseparable is the conclusion for the day we have 13 more minutes left where i can open this as a town hall session for you to question please feel free to ask questions and then we conclude yes sir yeah please keep your question very brief yes sir. yeah first there was a belief that sita is ravana's daughter ad ummaya poiya adu okay after that uh, rama vandu he attacked bali from the behind is it because bali would have need to take power adunna yeah third vandu let's say i take two i just take two sorry okay sorry yeah. okay. so what the question that was posed by the astika was there is a theory that floats very popularly by the new age novelists that sita is believed to be the daughter of ravana have you heard of this theory ramayana mula ramayana valmiki ramayana doesn't support this there is no where reference in the mula ramayana that sita could have been why that theory comes because sita is not the biological daughter of janaka she was found on mother earth she was spotted so essentially she could have been fathered or mothered by somebody else correct so now we have attached ravana there but there is no aadharam for this in mula ramayana or any of the commentaries one there is a sub part to it they say see just that is why 
so the assumption is ravana was the father of sita that is why despite abducting her he did not molest her correct because he did not feel like doing so so we are trying to add a few brownie points to ravana's overall negative character see dekhe dekhe wo villain hai lekin thoda acha villain hai in tamil it is called uttama villain mm. uttama villain great villain but the point is when you kidnap your character is gone after that you want to molest or not molest sir kidnap pannavar romba nallavar sir avar en kolandhi kidnap pannin ponar last time last week he kidnapped but very good when even when he kidnapped he kidnapped so respectfully sir will you say something like this when you have kidnapped you have committed a crime that's all now when sita was abducted by ravana she was lifted with her her thigh on one hand the other with the braid so the counter is nahi sir ravan ko ek shrap tha vedvati ne diya tha kya vedvati ne diya tha ki jab you molest another woman with a bad intent your head will burst into 1000 pieces and you'll die dekhiye jab sita ko usne kidnap kiya to kuch nahi hua because not because vedavati shapam was wrong that time valmiki says budham kheiva rohinim like how budha would kidnap rohini budha is the illegitimate son of chandra chandra and brahaspati's wife tara had a son called budha budha if at all he kidnapped rohini rohini is chandra's wife so the relationship between rohini and budha is budha is the son rohini is the mother like how a son would abduct the mother ravana abducted sita which means when he came with the evil intent of abducting sita the moment he touched her his intent was not as vicious as what it was so his head did not burst so but despite all these explanations it is very clearly found from the original valmiki ramayanam that ravana was not the father biological foster foster father of sita point number 1 second his question was when rama shot the arrow at vali there is a theory that he shot the arrow from behind what is the uh, uh, crime in shooting from behind because for kshatriyas when you are fighting the opposite person you should not stand from behind and attack it is not hunting it is fighting so you have to fight opposite that person as per ramayanam yes rama did not fight a duel with vali he did not fight vali but at the same time he did not hit the arrow from behind he was standing in front of vali behind the tree so when the arrow struck vali it did not strike his back it struck his chest nahi sir wo seedha ja ke piche se ek u turn mar ke all this can happen only in our heroes movies where the bullet goes it will wait then slowly it will hit all this will not happen in ramayana he was standing in the front but he was not visible to vali because rama was dark hued so he could get camouflaged in the forest colors and the arrow that came struck his chest so there is a clear indication vakshasthale in his chest came the arrow so he did not hit from behind two questions next third yes sir namaste uh, so you mentioned uh, about our sixteen qualities yeah. and you mentioned four of them to be grateful uh, satyavata karta what are the other four four was mean sabra that since you're noting it down and telling it to you for your reference samushi you have given even record audio record you can do for your later reference samushi the ability to move be accessible to others four was mean sabra tum log ek gunavan Kastak Biriyava. Biriyava means one who has got valor. Dharma Gesta, the one who has understood dharma and its attributes very well. Kripa Gesta, grateful. Satyava Pyo, the one who sticks to satya, which is truth. Dhrita Pratapa, the one who has taken the vow to be. Um, uh, 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 how do I say? Uh, the vow of being. Completely adherent to every quality. That is called dritha. Very strong dritha dritha. Charitra na cha koyukta ha. Charitra means who has got good character. Koyukta ha. Sarva bhuteshu kohita ha. One who is merciful towards all creatures and living beings around him. Vidwan, scholar. 
विद्वान का का समर्था समर्था मींस अडेप्ट पर्सन वेरी टैलेंटेड समर्था कस्चैक प्रिय दर्शन द वन हु इज एक्सट्रीमली हैंडसम टू लुक एट चारित्रेण चोयुक्त सर्वूतेषु को विद्वान का का समर्थस्च कस्चैक प्रिय दर्शन आत्मा द वन हु नोस् द वैल्यू ऑफ हिमसेल फस्ट यू शुड नो योर सेल्फ यू शुड हैव अ साक्षात्कार आत्मा को जित क्रोध द वन हु हेज वन ओवर एंगर द्युतिमा द वन हु हेज गॉट रेस्प्लेंडेन्स को अनसूयक द वन हु कैनाट बी फेल्ट जेलस् एट इट्स अ वेरी ट्रिकी थिंग ही इट डजेंट मीन ही इज नॉट जेलस वि कैनाट बी जेलस एट हिम से वेन विल यू बी जेलस ओनली वेन यू नो दट द पर्सन हूम यू आर फीलिंग जेलस एट यू कैन मैच Rama is like Everest. We are somewhere down. Can you go stand before the Everest and say, "ठीक है, ये थोड़ा मेरे से बहुत tall है"? People will laugh at us. It is eight thousand eight hundred and forty-eight meters above us. So we cannot feel jealous at Rama. Anasu ya kaha? Kasya bibhati devas cha? Jata rosha se sanyuge. Who is that one whom even devas, the celestials, are afraid of? So you have got sixteen now. Yeah, so these this is a shloka. You got sixteen attributes. Yeah, we'll take that as a last question. Sir is asking one behind. Yes, Swami, ask. Yes, sir, I'm going to read. I'm just now going to pass it. Very nice lecture. Very good to hear you. I'm generally surrounded by a lot of Krishna bhaktas, including my wife, Adi Devi Dasi. And in one of the lectures, I was listening to one son who was there. He mentioned that the name of Lord Ram is not equal to the name of Lord Krishna, and to me it hurt a lot. And, and I told my father that uh, this is what I hear. So my father said, "What's the harm? You know, let's decide it more than if." I think the son said that one name of Lord Krishna is equal to three names of Lord Ram. To me, it was on like where did it go? Where did it go? And why did he say that? गौणा विख्याता महात्म इज अ लाइन दट वी टेल इन विष्णु सहस्रनाम यानी ना बहुवचन नेम्स ऑफ द लॉर्ड गौणा गौणा मीन दोस् नेम्स विच आर् रेप्रसटेटिव ऑफ हिस् आट्रिब्यूट गुण इज गौण यानी ना गौणा विख्याता महात्म एव्री नेम ऑफ द लॉर्ड इज ब्यूटिफुल एव्री नेम ऑफ द लॉर्ड इज इंपॉर्टेंट एव्री नेम ऑफ द लॉर्ड डिनोट्स द क्वालिटी ऑफ द लॉर्ड इट इज जस्ट इमेजिन यू आस्क पेरेंट्स विच ऑफ युअर चिल्ड्रन इज द बेस्ट एंड विच इज द वर्स्ट सो वी कैन नेवर एवर कंपेर द नेम्स ऑफ द लॉर्ड ईच नामा इज ब्यूटिफुल सो इन सहस्रनाम वी गेट देवकी नंदन स्रष्ट क्षितीश पापनाशन शंख बृन् नंदकी चक्री एव्री नेम इज इंपॉर्टेंट ई विल गिव यू अ स्मॉल एनेकडोट एंड क्लोज इट वैल ए वॉज इन बॉम्बे ई वेट टू द हाउस ऑफ अ वेरी डिवउट फैमिली the elderly people in their house were extremely attached to the dharma their son daughter in law and grandchildren had just returned from the states i asked the grandson what is your name first you ask what is your name the boy said kim his name was kim i gave an internal sarcastic gaffa <laughs> i thought what name is this i know one in north korea that is the kim i know huh? Huh, i said very good name generally when you hear the name you generally say right standard cliched statements very beautiful name and i left i thought i'm i'm a person who gives discourses the lord wanted to hammer my arrogance next day i opened the sahasra namam book exactly it stood at one place eko neka sava ka kim there is one nama it, i think it is the 749th nama kim there is one nama of the lord called kim see we would have never heard of this for us it is again rama purushottam janardan padmanab kim the name itself is kim and there is a beautiful meaning to it that is when the lord wanted to tell every name of mine should, is so beautiful you can never ridicule any nama so to his question whether krishna nama rama nama three krishna namas is equal to one rama nama one rama or uh, three rama namas equal all this is not to compare vishnu sahasranama means the thousand names of the lord it is a brihad grantham 
you have to begin from vishwam vishnu till sarva praharana yudha thousand names very beautiful names very well known names very powerful names but parvati asks shiva she tells swami she asks shiva see these names are so beautiful but it is not easy for a common person to recite this every day maybe they can recite not every day and it is so long kitna kathin hai to thoda ek shortcut bata dijiye she is completely like indian exam going student see when we go to exams i will always think mr oc qr you know mr oc qr meta resorcinol para quinol and ortho catechol see in organic chemistry when you have the benzene ring how it gets attached you have to remember in exam you cannot do so i will always remember mr ocpq meta resorcinol para quinol ortho catechol then i will remember one phone number 8431823812381 which is the balancing of the equation 8 kmno4 plus 4 h2so4 is equal to this how we will remember right 1857 1857 is battle of plassey you have to remember all of this how will you take all shortcuts so parvati asked shiva see thousand names is so tough kuch shortcut bata dijiye kena upayena laguna vishnor nama sahasrakam pathyateir panditair nityam shrotum ichhamyaham prabho i would like to listen so shiva you know he is the master dakshinamurti he said श्री राम 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 इति रमे ओ ब्यूटीफुल वाइफ ऑफ माइंड रमे रामे मनोरमे मनोरमे द वन हु प्लीसेस माय हार्ट रिसाइट राम नाम त्रैस शी आस मैंने थाउजेंड नाइम्स के लिए शॉर्टकट पूछा आपने सिर्फ एक नाम को तीन बार बोलने के लिए कहा सो ही टेल्स सहस्र नाम तत्तुल्यम राम नाम वरानने If you recite Ramanama thrice, the essence of reciting entire Sahasra Namam comes. She asked how. See, we were all experts in maths. I'm not telling, being jingoistic. Vedam, Vedic civilization is an expert in maths. We were too good at maths. Pi value and all. Arya Bhatta says it so easily. Chaturadikashatam mashta gunam dwasasti ayutas cha four more than hundred into eight plus sixty two thousand. चतुराधिक शतम अष्ट गुण द्वाषष्टि अयुत सिक्सटी टू थी टू डिवेड बै द्वाई थी 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 Rama, 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 ten into ten into ten thousand. So if you equate this Rama, 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 you will get thousand. So we were also experts in maths. To bring Ganita Shastra in it, it is said. But technically, there is nothing like one Nama is superior to the other. There is no place where it says, "Ye Nam hi Ram, Nam se jaa kuch nahi hai. Ram Nam hi best hai. Baaki sab fake hai. Palika Bazaar hai. Esa nahi ho sakta na." See if you go to Palika Bazaar, you will get Louis Vuitton for two hundred rupees. <laughs> But Mahua Maitra won't go there. That is a different thing. So you will get Louis Vuitton, you will get Burberry, and all of that. But in bhakti, there is nothing like one nama is superior to the other. All namas of the Lord, Vishnu Purana, Parashara cells. Every nama is important, and every nama is beautiful. I hope I've answered your question. Namaskar. one more uh, i think we are just short of time we'll just take this i'll try make your question brief i will also answer briefly and we cut we have to go home and get up now uh, calculate from the kali yuga the dwapar yuga the yoga the around 9 lakh years approximately i'm calculating during this 9 lakh years how many natural natural disasters could have happened but how can we say that this is the birthplace of rama this is the birthplace of sita this is the uh, Lanka, Sita, 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 Dwapara is eight lakh sixty four thousand years. Thrice of four lakh thirty two is Treta, and four times is 
ಸತ್ಯ ಸೊ ಸತ್ಯ ದ್ವಾ ಕ ತ್ರೇತ ದ್ವಾಪರ ಕಲಿ ಇಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಫೋರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟೂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಫ್ ಒನ್ ಚತುರ್ಯುಗಂ ಸೊ ಹಿಸ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ವಾಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಡು ವಿ ನೋ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ನೈನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದೀಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಪುರಾಣಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಸೂತ್ರಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ if a lecture is interesting i am not telling this one generally <laughs> if some lecture is interesting two and a half hours will be like two minutes if something is boring two hours will look as if it is one yugam so the time hasn't changed it is relative and referenceable see one centimeter on a map is equal to 100 kilometers in reality similarly in those days rishis believed that one year of a good raja's regime a good raja underline that word good a good raja's regime of one year is equivalent to 1000 years of a normal king because a normal king even if he rules for 1000 years at the end of 50 years only one bridge will come at the end of 100 years only he'll think of planting trees so whatever that person normal mundane king achieves in 1000 years a good raja can as- achieve in one year similarly in sanatana dharma we have had very good mediocre and bad kings not everybody was good vena was a waste king whereas there were kings who were very good like rama so rama's one year of regime will be equivalent to 1000 years so when we take purana's calculation we should discount the poetic fantasy and take the reality so if we do that from the inscription of aihole of chalukya architecture in karnataka which clearly states that in 3102 bce mahabharata war had ended and kali yuga began so 3102 bce is when kali yuga began so we are 5000 years plus past in kali yuga before that was ramayana uh, mahabharata kalam and as per the software update see in ramayana we have nine places where valmiki gives reference to the planet astronomical position he says when rama was one five grahas were in this position when rama was fighting the uh, demons in janasthana on his 13th year there was a surya grahanam in the afternoon when rama left to the forest in the middle of the night there was chandra grahanam so we put all these astronomical details in the software we roughly get rama's birth date to be january 10th 5114 bce 3102 bce is mahabharatam 5000 years over 7000 years before was ramayanam 5114 bce how where does it coincide it coincides around 500 years before the early egyptian civilization it comes about 4000 5000 years after the last ice age so 5000 bce around that period is where we decide rama's time and now to his next question sir so many natural formations would have gotten uh, disasters would have happened how do we know this is the place when pralayam happens in sanatana dharma pralay jo bolte hain it doesn't mean the entire earth will get crushed and get pieces it is called prakritika naimitika pralayam see for example i don't know how many of you know indian map in 1965 there used to be a small town in the tip of india called dhanushkoti it was there till 1965 in 1965 a huge cyclone struck that's all people were dead and they moved now if i tell that tell my daughter that people lived here she will not believe me either this looks like a dilapidated town kon rehta tha they lived see in indonesia it's an archipelago nation of 17000 islands because of tsunami actually even here we are on a fault line if i'm right so when it's seismic when it's fault line many islands get submerged many will rise some will come newly so when pralayam happens in sanatana dharma it doesn't mean the entire earth gets crushed certain places get submerged and certain places remain as is ayodhya remained as is srirangam remained as is certain parts of bengal also remained as is whereas dwaraka got submerged you're getting the connection some people some places stay some places go away so this time period i've given you a reasoning 
places, not all places in Sanatana Dharma undergo destruction, certain places stay. That is why we say that this is the answer. Kavitarkika Simhaya Kalyana Gunashalini Srimate Venkateshaya Vedanta Gurave Namaha. So, uh, just for your information, two, three in, uh, small, very quick announcements. Without all of your support, on weekdays, which was yesterday and today, a discourse session is not possible at all. Big kudos to all of you and accolades to all of you. <laughs> Entertainment like Bahubali and there is so much of treat to the eyes. People come, nothing to be surprised. This is a simple lecture. A person in Dhoti is talking for two and a half hours straight with no bio break. Not even one break. You are all seated. So it shows there is so much of dharmic inclination even in a country like New Zealand. So how much you are all dharmic. Second, big kudos to the organizers. So, Sanatana Dharma Vrindaveshwara Swami Temple deserves full accolades. The Astikas who are managing it, all the families whom I have been living with, have been moving with in the last two and a half days, so much of inclination they have for Dharma, they have a long term vision how the next few generations should be. And they are in the process of setting up the temple, beautiful temple for Venkateshwara Swami, Narayana Saparavatar. So I'm sure they have funds collected, they have, they deserve more funds, they need more funds and they are open to getting funds from every astika. Please get in touch with them because when a temple is being constructed, everybody will take credit for it. But you should always be in the process of making it. See, Ayodhya today we are enjoying. So many people sacrifice their lives to get that temple. We are nowhere there. Today we may take a flight, we'll take a nice five-star hotel, go to the temple, eat prasad and come. One selfie with Rama is enough for us. But people have sacrificed their lives. In this part of the world, there are families that have settled for many generations where your children and grandchildren may also live. If you have to remain dharmic, there should be at least uh, one or two temples of worship. So that is their entire aim. And you should support their cause and you should also support their cause of donations so that they can help organize more such programs. Very grateful yesterday to the officials of our very own Indian Commission who have been so benevolent in giving us a hall yesterday and to the organizers of the hall today. And uh, I have my lectures planned for tomorrow and the day after in Auckland. Again, they are in English. Tomorrow the topic is Dharma Shastram and Dharma Sankatam. That is the topic for tomorrow. And the day after it is called Rama Patta Abhishekam. That is the topic. All in English. Then two more days after that, which is Sunday and Monday, I am speaking in Brisbane. Then after that, seven days of my lectures, Bhagavata Saptaham, every day, two and a half hours in English on Srimad Bhagavata Mahapuranam as a course of seven days in Melbourne. Then two more days on Bhishma Stuti and Dashavataram in uh, Sydney. Then two days in Canberra, two days in Adelaide, two days in Perth. So till March 20th, I've got another series of 20 lectures in about seven more cities. And all of them are English lectures, predominantly English, though I may intersperse with verses in Samskritam, Hindi, Kannada, Telugu, Tamil, Malayalam, Marathi, Abhang and so on and so forth. The skeleton or the language of communication remains English. Why? So that we can have the Indian community attend. The Astika community attend and just not concentrate on one region or language. So I'm sure you will have friends and relatives who will be as interested or equally interested as you all who may want to attend. You have to get in touch with the social media handles. All the addresses are there. Anybody can attend. It is free for all. There is no ticket, nothing anywhere. It's only dependent on donations. There is no ticketing anywhere. You don't have to buy and come. So you can tell your relatives to kindly attend these lectures. So, I am extremely thankful to the all of you. Again, Kavita Arkika Simhaya Kalyana Gunashalini Srimate Venkateshaya Vedanta Gurave Namaha Swastiv Prajabhyav Paripalayantam Nyayena Margena Mahim Mahishaha Gobrahmane Bhesh Shubhamastu Nityam Loka Samastha Sukhino Bhavantu Kaya Navacha Manasendri Yairva Buddhyatmanaba Prakriti Swabhavat Karomi Atyat Sakalamparasmi Shriman Narayana Ayeti Samarpayami Namaskaram.